Hi everyone, my name is Joanna Walton mm -hmm. and I am one of the international student advisors here at Cardiff Met. Today I'm going to be talking to you um, so you can start to get prepared for your journey to Cardiff next month. So if I just bring up my screen for you, just bear with me one moment. OK. So as I said, this is the pre-arrival webinar um, for our students joining us in January 2024. So it's just a few things to know before you go. Firstly, apologies and um, that we had a few technical issues at the start of this webinar. Hopefully now we're all set up and ready to go. Um, and if you've missed the start of this um, or if you can't stay for all of it, don't worry, it will be recorded and on our YouTube channel uh, later today. So. Welcome. Um, I'd like to introduce our team with the Global Student Advisory Service and our team are here to support you through your arrival process all the way through your studies so you will get to know us very well. You may have already spoken to some of our team when contacting our international arrival inbox and we're very much looking forward to welcoming you when you arrive in Cardiff next month. So before you arrive in the UK, why not try and connect with other students that are joining Cardiff Met in January 2024? We've got um, an international students Facebook page, which is, um, and within that, we've got a group set up specifically for our January 2024 students. So it's a great opportunity to connect with other um, people who are joining us and, um, you know, make some travel plans or see if you're staying in a similar accommodation or just get to know one another socially. So that'll be made available to you. Alternatively, just search Cardiff Met University International Students January 2024 on Facebook. OK, so what do you do once you receive your UK student visa and your flights are booked? So log into Cash Shield, confirm your flight details and um, you'll also need to upload your entry clearance, which is the sticker inside your passport. Upload your UKVI decision letter. That might be in an email or attached to your application and then also upload a copy of your visa application that's downloadable by just popping back onto your visa application and downloading it. It's important to remember that Cash Shield will need to be up to date before you are able to enrol. If you've used an agent or someone else who's handled your Cash Shield account, we do recommend that you have those details saved so that you can log in yourself when you're in the UK if you need to. It just makes things a lot easier once you're here. So do you need temporary accommodation. So accommodation is the next thing you're probably going to be thinking out. So if you have not already arranged permanent accommodation before you arrive, such as halls of residence, you must book temporary accommodation in a hotel or a hostel or an Airbnb. We recommend that you book a minimum of one week, um, but most students do end up looking um, at temporary accommodation for more like two, three, four weeks, just whilst they're making sure they find somewhere that they're really happy with. Um, to live in in Cardiff. So be prepared that temporary accommodation can be expensive and you might need to find temporary accommodation for a few weeks. Our campuses are closed at night, so there's no temporary accommodation on campus. Um, our campuses also do not have any storage facilities for luggage, so you will need to keep all of your luggage with you at all times, unless you have accommodation, of course, and then you can leave it there. So what to pack? This is a question that lots of you will have and if you join that Facebook group, you can share with one another about what you're packing, what you're not packing, etc. But basics we recommend is obviously your passport and your UK visa, your mobile phone, um, a light rain jacket, a warm thick coat, your laptop, chargers for all of your electrical devices, UK adapters, um, your credit or debit cards, um, because most things in the UK now um, would prefer you to use a credit or debit card. Cash isn't the preferred option, but we do recommend you have a small amount of cash just in case you do need it. Um, any medication or medical notes as you may not be able to register with a GP straight away. 
So make sure that you've got everything that you need to make your first few days and weeks as easy as possible. But don't forget if you do, um, don't panic, sorry, if you do forget something, because I'm sure you will be able to find it in Cardiff. However, be as organised as you can to avoid any unnecessary stress or additional costs. So what's the weather like in the UK? Another popular question for our international students. The climate in the UK is relatively mild. We rarely experience extreme heat or extreme cold, but the weather is always unpredictable. The weather is likely to be quite cold in January, and um, so do you know be prepared for that, whether it's lots of layers or warm outerwear like coats, hats, scarves, gloves. Of course, you can purchase all of that in the UK. But if you have something that you'd already like to, to bring, then we do recommend you can do that. And obviously it's a cost saving um, as well. But spring is just around the corner. The days are short in the winter, but they're long in the summer. And you'll quickly realise that the British do love to talk about the weather. So what to do when you arrive in the UK? What do I do once you've arrived in the UK and travelled through passport control? So obviously you need to make sure that initially you've got your um, onward transport booked. So whether that's a train or bus or taxi from the airport onto your accommodation. But once you're settled, log into Cash Shield and upload your stamped entry clearance. So the sticker that was in your passport will now have been stamped by border control. Cash Shield now needs that as well. Um, so just make sure you upload that when you can. Cash Shield will need to be up to date before you are able to enroll. If you've used an agent or someone else who's handled your Cash Shield account, we recommend having these details saved that you can log in yourself in the UK when needed. So transport to Cardiff from Heathrow Airport, um, as I mentioned, there's um, bus and coach options. So the National Express or the Megabus, and there's also a train. But this option will require you to travel away from the airport to London, Paddington. And then from there, you would be able to get a train to Cardiff Central Station. Um, if you visit our website, um, we've got some travelling to Cardiff um, pages, which explain everything that I've said in a little more detail. So upfront costs that you need to be aware of for your first few weeks um, in the UK. The first few weeks um, of your stay in the UK will be the most expensive because you're spending so much more on um, the unknown. OK, um, hostels and hotels are obviously quite expensive, so this is going to be um, something that you need to factor in. Also, you may be purchasing things for the first time, for example, cooking equipment, furniture. If you're not in a um, furnished um, accommodation, your accommodation deposit, rent in advance, bedding, transport, food, socialising, all of these things are going to cost you um, up front. Um, and these are the things that make the first few weeks most expensive. Once you're settled, however, in your accommodation, you'll probably notice that your spending should start to settle down as you become more familiar with the local area. And alternatively, um, you may find cheaper places to buy from, visit, um, and you've got some tips and tricks from friends and colleagues that you meet here in the UK. So our International Student Welcome event is taking place on Saturday the 20th of January. That's going to be on our lands of campus and all of our new students who are joining us in January 2024 are invited to attend this event. So during this event, um, you'll have a welcome talk from our team. You'll have the opportunity to collect your BRP card, your MET card, which is your student card. Um, you'll have a free welcome pack and also a free lunch. There'll be also opportunity to meet other teams within the university, for example, careers, well-being, accommodation, sustainability um, and a few more. We highly recommend that you book onto this in-person event. Um, and if you have informed us via Cash Shields that you will be arriving um, before the 20th of January, you'll, you will be sent an email inviting you to book onto this event. So as I said, um, it's the preferred method to use a contactless card 
from your bank, debit or credit card um, in most places in the UK, but most importantly on campus. So on campus, we are totally cashless. So whether that's buying a cup of coffee, a bottle of water or paying your tuition fees, all of that will need to be done um, using a bank card. OK. So it may take a few weeks to set up your UK bank account, so we do recommend that you make sure that you bring your bank card from back home and make sure that it's set up for you to be able to use in the UK with no difficulties. Um, you must have access to a debit or credit card um, to make purchases when you arrive in the UK as almost as soon as you arrive, so whether that's visiting a shop in the airport and um, booking your onward transfers and um, everything will require um, a debit or credit card payment. And yeah. um, before you leave home, so your home country, make sure that your bank will be accepted in the UK because you will need it. And um, if you're from the EU or an EEA student, um, you can open a Monzo um, bank account before you arrive. So top tip, although it's necessary to bring some cash, please don't bring large amounts of cash, OK, because it's not safe for you to, to carry large amounts of cash. And also, if you were to lose that many, you can't prove that you ever had it. So it wouldn't be um, it wouldn't be beneficial and you would be at a loss if you if you did um, carry and lost a large amount of cash. So we recommend that you download some apps on your smartphone or device and these are a few of our um, ones that students have recommended that are important and that you will use daily. So alongside all of your social media accounts um, we recommend that you download the My Cardiff Met app, the Met Rewards app, your online banking app, a taxi booking app and the Cardiff Bus app. All of these you'll probably use, as I said, daily. The first two are Cardiff Met student apps and will only be available to you once you're enrolled. So once you're enrolled, you'll be given a username and password that will allow you to enroll as a student at Cardiff Met. Those details then will also allow you to download the Cardiff Met app and the Met Rewards app. So support when you arrive. Let's talk about that in a little bit of detail. So university procedures, so you'll need to confirm you're in the UK via Cash Shield, then you'll enrol, then you'll either collect your BRP um, from the university or from a post office. You'll apply for a student Met card. You can access your timetable for your course via the Cardiff Met app. Intend your course induction, which is compulsory and it is monitored. Download the Met Rewards app. And if there's anything at all that you're unfamiliar with, you'll be able to download and you'll be able to um, get help with those procedures. So course joining information and induction timetables will be updated in January on the Cardiff Met website. Your course timetable will be available on the Cardiff Met app when term begins. Another thing to be aware of is in Central, International Central, is your student homepage as an international student. Here you will find um, information on all aspects uh, of life as an international student at Cardiff Met and living in the UK. And all of this can be found on in Central. Again, you'll only be able to access this once you're enrolled. So how to get help from the Global Student Advisory Service? There's a number of ways. So in the first instance, you may wish to email or call us, but hopefully as soon as you are in the UK, you will visit us in person in the Global Lounge, which um, is available um, nine till four, Monday to Friday, and it's in our land of campus, where most of you, I believe, are studying. We also have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or now known as X account. And we also have a YouTube channel. So if you've missed anything that I've talked about today, we will be popping this video and other videos onto our YouTube channel um, later this week. So the chat function has been enabled. So if you want to type any questions here, so my colleagues um, and I can help answer as many as we can. Whilst you're thinking of any questions that you may have, I just want to remind you that our next webinar is all about accommodation and that's tomorrow at one o'clock.
OK, um, and that's everything about accommodation. So whether you've secured accommodation or not, we do highly recommend that you visit and um, that you attend this webinar as it's got lots and lots of information that's going to help you and make things a little bit easier when you arrive in the UK. So that is the end of my presentation now. Um, so there hasn't been many questions come in. Hopefully lots of students are going to be um, watching this back rather than watching it live. So if there's anything that you think about at all, go back a few screens where you'll see all of our contact details and you'll be able to reach out and contact us. So if there's nothing else, um, at the moment, we wish you a safe flight and safe travels to Cardiff and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Bye.